Good morning, folks. Kathy here with Living Miracle Homestead. Well, there's a lot going on around here. I'll show you. Just got done watering this with the with the uh, water out of that bucket right there. That's what I use um, to help keep the city water out of my stuff because I don't know if I told you this recently, but um, just got done feeding it, the birds too, so they're all quiet. Um, the city water has some type of, um, what do you call it, uh, plastics in it that is harmful to you and can cause cancer so not gonna not gonna drink it david's convinced me not gonna drink it um uh, my beautiful uh um miracle fruit are coming in nicely i've got jabota cabas over there and this is loaded with flowers and fruit. This is the sugar apple. I literally thought it was going to die and it is loaded, folks. Loaded. Everywhere I look, there's blooms or fruit. So, huh, I don't know if I'll be here long enough to see this come to fruition. I haven't done anything outside. I've been focusing on the inside, trying to get it all packed and ready. The dogs have, at least the Chester, has dug massive holes, tore up things. My apple tree is doing fantastic. I see an apple over there I'd like to pick before the, uh, the, um, uh, squirrels get it. And check this out. I got blooms again already. Is that crazy or what? This, this weather in Florida is freaking me out. Um, on Virginia's trees over on her mango tree, it is literally blooming and got very small fruit on it. It's crazy. Like I said, I haven't done anything out here. Um, this is putting off seed pods, which I'm concerned about because I don't know if that will, will, uh, if it's a, what do you call it, invasive species or anything. Um, I've got to dig up all my blackberries and I really, 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 really want to dig this tree up. Um, it's, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal how much fruit it has on it all the time. But I've come to the conclusion that it will probably die. So I'm going to leave it here. I would give anything to be able to have one of these. So I'm going to get David to um, clone this tree, I think. The fruit that this beautiful grape has put on is crazy. <laughs> it is everywhere. You can see it through here. Mm. I mean, everywhere. The tomatoes are coming over. That's the tomato that wore more grapes. Now, this grapevine has not done very well, but it has grown tre tremendously this year. So, I'll be digging it up, too. My sad part is 
I'm probably going to leave this grapevine behind. I haven't made up my mind. It is so massive. I just can't imagine trying to dig that up and bring it with me. I've thought about taking some um, cuttings from it and rooting them, but I just haven't had time. There's so much to do. Mmm, that miracle fruit is delicious. I think I'll take some of these tomatoes in and take them to Virginia's when I go today. Okay. The bees are doing great. It's all jungled up there in front of them, man. The garden is overgrown. I haven't done anything in here. I haven't, I mean, nothing. Nothing since I planted the tomatoes. I've gotten some tomatoes off of that tree. That plant, I mean, tree. And I got some seeds. This one has gone to seed too. It won't be long, then I'll gather those seeds also. And try my luck at my, my own seeds. <laughs> we shall see. But look at this tomato. Isn't that awesome? It's grown everywhere. And hey, even though that's not my favorite tomato, this wild one is the best out of them. Um, the corn did not all come up. It did not do very good at all. And I, I test that, I believe, to um, just pull, poor soil quality and not enough rain. The tomatoes are dying because not enough rain. Like I said, I haven't watered or anything. These over here are doing better, but I just haven't been able to do anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble, disassemb I'm going to take these apart and um, dump them all out. This is, this is uh, awesome that I've got all this coming up in here, edible. Um, Parsley, part, not parsley. Starts with a P. Mm. I'll think of it sooner or later. These are weeds. This is Biden, but it's also, it's also uh, edible. The Biden weed. Um, and I'll take these things out, these little heathers and stuff like that, and. See if I can't put them in the in the um, in pots or something. So, anyways, I'm gonna be gathering some plants like this. Try to keep it and the um, um, comfrey. Grow that too. And this is Society Garlic. Helps tomatoes and such do good. Keeps the bugs off of it. But anyways, yeah, the garden's not doing much. Um, I am going to get David to bring his weed whacker. We're going to weed down this stuff right here in the front. And... I'm going to take all my cattle panels down. First, we're going to go into the bees and harvest them, harvest their honey. And then probably the next day, I'm going to close them back up that night and uh, take them to my daughter's because... I don't want to take them to Georgia with me. 
I harvested two huge um, racks of bananas. Y'all know I've been losing bananas. It's funny, this one's still blooming and all the bananas are gone up at the top of it. Squirrels and such are eating them. I've seen birds up there eating them. So, and this one is falling over. I don't have that many skinny bananas like this, but oh well. So, this is one of the trees that we harvested. And that's the other one. Uh, I still have to cut those down and put them in there for... Y'all remember how there was big, huge space here to go through to get to this coop. Oh, and looky here what's growing in here. Tomatoes, and it looks like... I don't know if that's a cucumber or that is a squash of some type. It always amazes me what grows out of the out of the pins and such. So I have got a tremendous amount of cleanup to do. I'm trying to organize everything in the house so that the move goes well. Um, I do feel sorry for whoever moves here if I can't get all this accomplished. Because I've got a lot of junk and a lot of stuff that these people don't want. <laughs> and they'll probably, you know, not everybody is like me. Uh, harvesting their food and such off of their property so even though I got all this junk I still harvest food and enjoy eating good stuff all the time um, I'm sorry folks it'll have to be another day for me to finish this video it is very emotional every time I go out to do anything or pick anything or <sighs> trying to decide what I'm going to take with me and what I'm not. <sighs> and I see that all the stuff that I have to do that I haven't been doing is very overwhelming and sad for me. It is um I'm trying to keep upbeat because I'm very excited and I really, really can't wait to for this new adventure. But knowing that I have to take all this apart and pray that it doesn't die like the Jabota Kaba, I, I, it's not the right environment up there for it. And I just don't think that it will, will survive. I mean, I, I could dig it up and try, but then I would have destroyed a perfectly beautiful tree. My neighbor has mentioned she would like that tree, so I might give her the option to take it, I don't know. But I would just be so, so hurt if it died in the process of trying to move it. Anyways, I'm just overwhelmed with all the all the things that I've got to do. Man, 30 year or 27 years in a house that I thought I'd live forever in and planted and did the things that I wanted forever. Never dreamed I'd have to be moving anything. I thought I'd be stuck. I thought I'd never have my 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 full dream of living in in the country and on a farm and I just never 
I just never thought my dreams would ever come true, even though, you know, and once we lost that land and, or gave back, we didn't lose it, we gave it back to them. Um, in Live Oak, 10 acres we had up there, <laughs> that was, that was a steal. I wish we had that today. We paid, we paid $20,000 for 10 acres and we should have done everything possible to keep it, but we didn't. I'm just heartbroken over all the things that we haven't been able to do in our lives. Sorry for the interruption, alarm going off. So anyways, I don't know where I was at. It's not time for regret. It's time to look forward and pray that I don't lose a lot of the stuff that I am trying to keep. The dog got into my strawberries and I don't know if I've been able to save any of those. So I think his days are numbered with my being his owner. So if anybody would like him, he's a very good dog. He listens, but he's young and he's digs holes <laughs> and he gets into plants so just let me know thanks have a great day